So the way I do my crackle paint is I take the head and the limbs off the doll body and I bought this paper towel holder at the Goodwill of the Salvation Army and it works perfect just to set the head on or the limbs while I paint it. And the first thing I do is I paint the entire head black with acrylic paint and I use the apple barrel paint. And if I wanted to keep the same color eyes on this doll, I would just take my hot glue gun and fill the eyes with glue and just leave that there till all of my painting was done. And then you can pop the glue out and the eyes will be undamaged and unpainted. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready for the next step. So I painted the front of the head. Usually I'll do the whole head, but I'm just gonna show you guys how I do my crackle effect so I didn't do the whole head. So after you get a pretty good coat on there, you know, not real thin, but not, you know, to the point that it's dripping, and then I have this um, Montana crackle paint. Oops, if I can get this in front of the camera. This is called Montana crackle effect spray paint and it's white. So while the black paint is still wet, I'm just gonna spray a coat of this on. And then I just let it dry by itself. You can use the blow dryer on it. Um, if you use the blow dryer, don't get really close to it because it'll just bake it and it'll freak off. So I'm just gonna let this dry, but you can see already that there's some cracks starting. But when it's totally dry, it'll be, it'll be all crackled and it's different every time. You never know where the big cracks are gonna be or the small cracks, but it's pretty neat. You can see how fast it, it crackles. It's looking pretty cool. And then afterwards, um, I put in my details after the paint's dry. I usually wait till the next day and then I paint the lips and the eyes or, you know, whatever I'm going to do. And when, when it's totally done, I'll seal it with like a, um, <clears throat> I buy like a clear acrylic um, spray coating which I'll share that in another video, the kind that I use. But you can see it's cracking up pretty nicely. So that's basically it. I mean, I looked high and low to find the way to make the crackle effect. I mean, I tried Elmer's glue. I tried all kinds of different things, and I couldn't really find anything. And then somehow I stumbled on this Montana crackle effect paint, and it's the absolute best. It comes in different colors, but... I like to put the black underneath and then the white on top so I get the black cracks, but I mean, you could do red underneath so that it would crackle red. You can do whatever color you want, but this is how I do it and this is what I do. And I hope it's helpful and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be showing so many different things, so many different techniques and, and little tips and tricks that I use to make my little creepers. Thanks for watching.